officials for this match. First referee, Fernando Velarde, national referee. Second referee, Ryan Vincent Corpus, national referee. And now let's meet the starters. First, 14 Navigators, Iloilo. Center number five, Kim Diane Tante. Middle blocker, number seven, JB Sumakai Sai. Opposite header number 12, Francis Saura. Outside spiker number 13, Edward Camposado. Middle blocker number 14, Rash Nur City. And outside spiker number 20, Toto De Pedro. Starting libero is number one, Rick Adao. Head coach for the Navigators is Boyet Del Moro. And now the starters for the Signal HD Spikers. Middle blocker number eight, team captain, JP Bugawan. Opposite header number nine, Mads Gampong. Outside spiker number 11, Chow Umantan. Outside spiker number 16, Brian Bagunas. Center number 19, Sian Silak. And middle blocker number 20, Lloyd Hosafat. Starting libero is number 7, Vince Lorenzo. Head coach for signal is Dexter Clamore. We have the starters for Iloilo, the Navigators. It's JV Sumagaysay with Edward Camposano, Kim Dayan Dante, Francis Saura, Toto De Pedro, Rash Nursidik, and Rick Adao. Usual names for them, of course, with a change of setters, Dayan Dante as their veteran in the starting unit. On the other end, it's Lloyd Osafat with Jao Umandal, Brian Bagunas, JP Bugawan, Cian Silang, and Vince Lorenzo. You're seeing Mark Calado on the graphic because initially he was supposed to start for the Signal HD Spikers. Later on, Mika Abisamis will have a story for us as to why there is a starting change with Mats Gampong as the starting opposite spiker now for Signal in this matchup. Thank you for joining us, folks. This is Mixing Gomez at your service alongside Neil Flores in day number two of semifinals action in the Spikers Turf Open Conference. Neil did break down to us just how important each set is here in the semifinals because as per FIVB rules, if there will be some draws and some standings by the end of the three days, then we're going to go on to our uh, point system. So winning in three or four sets definitely has a big advantage over winning in five sets. De Pedro with the first serve. Silang to Jao Umandal. And it's Signal HD who will get the first point. Let's see the numbers in this season. Jao Umandal is the top scorer for the Signal HD Spikers with a total of 144. That's number four in the tournament. But he's number one in terms of spiking efficiency at 52%. There's the leading scorer of the league, Francis Saura. Just celebrated his birthday yesterday. 166 points coming into this matchup. Saura was uh, the top scorer in their first encounter. That was uh, last April 17. Uh, Saura scored uh, 19 points in that five-set match against the HD Spikers. And as for Jao Mandal, that was his best performance of the season with 36 big points. Uh, and he was the only player in double figures for Signal HD. What a disparity that was in terms of scoring. But now Brian Magunas is back for Signal. So, you know, it's not going to be far-fetched to expect Jao Mandal to calm down in terms of his scoring. Brian Magunas again starting off on the right foot uh, by getting that back row attack. Now two serving one. Jao Mandal will be doing the honors. The fifth best server in the spiker turf so far. Ball up and through, but it sails long. So we have a deadlock. 
Confidence uh, of the Navigator should be at an all-time high after getting that win against the Crisscross King Crunchers. And uh, I do agree with what JV Sumagaysay said in our interview. Sabi nga niya, hindi na sila nagulat that they won because they really prepared well yes. for that game. They checked the attackers of Chris Cross. They matched their output or even edged them out in some categories. And that's the thing. The standard is very high for the Divino the Navigators. So there's no room for relaxation. They just have to keep on achieving as he got to see a point for Signal. And there's JV Sumagaysay getting his first point on the other end. JV Sumagaysay is not even 30 years old. Uh, he did mention to me that he plans on uh, transitioning into being a team manager anytime soon. But he's also going to maximize the opportunities presented to him as a player. As now, there's an opportunity at the middle for Signal. He able to exploit it. JP Magawa scoring. Now we're seeing uh, different players uh, getting their respective points here in the first set. Alam naman natin na pupunto si Francis Saura and Brian Bagunas. But uh, whoever gets the most support from the other players will probably win this game. Defense will also be key for the Navigators because uh, Brian Bagunas had the field day against the PGJC Navy Sea Lions because uh, Navy wasn't able to set up solid uh, net defense. Kaya ngayon, maganda yung nakita natin na may three-man block set up against Brian Bagunas. And in transition, they were also able to convert off that hit from Francis Saura. So now we have another deadlock at 4-all in set number one. JV Sumagaysay doing the honors. He sends that ball in. Received by Umandal, and it's Bugawan who drops it, and he will get another point. Yan ay naging diskarte ni Sian Silang throughout this season. He would always give a lot of attempts to the middle blockers sa simula pa lang ng game. 5-4. to four. Brian Bagunas. Serving that ball sharply and strongly in. And now it's Rashner Siddiq answering through the middle for the Navigators Ilo Ilo. That's, that's our the, matchup, Neil. Yeah, that's the reason why we featured him in the pregame. Nur Siddiq going up against our reigning best middle blocker in uh, JP Bugawan. Nur Siddiq came in as one of the original players of Ilo Ilo the Navigators. It's good to see him achieving with their recruits. As now Bugawan answers back quickly at that. Sian Silang has been successful in splitting the blockers of the Navigators Iloilo. Just moving the pieces well in the front row for the HD Spikers. JP Bugawan after all is number two in scoring for Signal all conference long just behind Jao Umandal. Service in, received by Adal, and it's Francis Saura blocked by Jao Umandal. Attacking is uh, not a problem for the HD Spikers, we all know that, but when they defend really well up top, that's the time that they build the momentum, that's the time they get a string of points. And uh, aside from the blocking, no, yung serving ng signal, yun yung naging factor sa kanila. They prevented the Philippine Navy uh, from uh, getting their own offense kasi talagang nacha-challenge yung receivers with these heavy serves. Uh, the ball sailed outside for the Navigators in Ilo. This will be the first technical timeout. The score is 8 to 5. 14 Navigators.
Royal Memorial Coliseum for your Spikers Turf 2024. And I was really curious about how or what the DNAP boys thought were some of the reasons on how they got that match against Criss Cross. And they broke down the reasons to me. First, in the eliminations, they lost to Signal in five sets, lost to Criss Cross in four, and lost to Navy in five. These were reasons enough to be driven to win against a strong contender. Next, the DNAP seniors, Camposano, Saura, and Dayan Dan, they were familiar with the seniors of the King Crunchers enough to sort of know their capabilities, so that made it easier as well. Today, though, is a different story. As we talked about earlier, Migs, Brian Bagunas, uh, he has worked uh, with his veterans before, but like you said, he could be a different species all throughout, perhaps a cheat code, like you said. And so the DNAP boys are aware of this. They basically need to stop the ball from falling to his mighty hands. They need stability as well against Signal, which they showed against Chris Cross. Migs, Neil. Thank you, Mika. Well, let's see if Brian Bagunas can continue to be that cheat code as we talked about in this game. After all, they're off to a good start. 9-5, to five, 3 points, 3 attacks. Familiarity will continue to be a theme among our teams in the semifinals. The Toto de Pedro will have to get used to the blockers in front of him. He, after all, is one of those newcomers at this level. Let's see the previous sequence. The set was already tight uh, and uh, CNC lang was just ready for that put away. A good start for the Signal HD Spikers against the Navigators in Ilo. JP Bugawan will continue to serve for them. Same numbers as what we showed you guys before the timeout. Regadal receives. Tayan Dante. That's a back row pipe hit. And it works for Edward Camposano. It was uh, such a loose block from the HD Spikers. They weren't sure kung kanino pupunta si Kim Tayan Dante. And that's what you want for the navigator Silo Ilo. Six serving ten. I thought that was an over receive. It turned out to be an attack from Sila and it's Tamposano denied. Battle at the net. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. It was a good idea by Dante, but it seems like he's continuing to develop his chemistry with Rash Nusidik. It was such a veteran move. He displayed uh, uh, a lot of control in that set. Nga lang medyo mataas, hindi naabutan yeah. ni Nash Nursidik. But I, I think it was still a good set from uh, Kim Dayan Dante. I did see kung paano siya nang hinayang after that point. Now there was a service error by Sian Silang. Ironically, he's one of the best servers in the league, number two at that. So the tally is at 7-11, set one. Rash Nursidik coming off of his career game in terms of blocking with six in the previous game. Setting that ball in. Umanda down the line. That's one of the ways to slow down the attackers of Signal HD. But even with a broken place, we know the capabilities of Awanja Umandal. It was coming from a, a, a shank pass. Hindi magandang pasa, but he was able to transition to that hard hit. Signal gets back into serving once more. Three points for Zhao. Ooh, that's straight to net. Good chance for the navigators. And there's a drop by Edward Camposano. Coach Dex wants a grab, a hold, but it won't be given to them. First Jeffrey saying that it was a good power tip from Edward Camposano. Coach Dexter Clamar doesn't think so. He thinks it was a catch and throw violation committed by Camposano. But you can't challenge that, right? Yep, that's a non-challengeable call. They will get a rebound from that Brian Bagunas attack, but they will be forced to give up this free ball. Sian Silang with a lot of time. Oh, ho, 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 what an option at the back. Ciao, Mandal. Everybody was looking at Brian Bagunas, but they forgot that Jao Omandal scored 36 points against them in the preliminary round. Umabul na lang din si JV sa magaysay. And that left a huge gap 
in between their net defense. It's like playing with two imports if you're Signal HD. As now, there is a net violation committed by JP Bugawan. Bugawan. Got yep. a bit excited there over each uh, violation. Calls on JP Bugawan. That was a good call from the referee. And nauna din hawakan ng setter yung ball line. That is the general rule. You have to let the playmaker set that ball to their teammates. It's 13 to 9. Umandal is rejected. Specialty of the house for JV Sumagaysay. Oh, USD standouts. <laughs> oh, yes. In college now. Going up against each other here in the Spiker Sturf. They were teammates, right? Nagabot naman. JV Sumagaysay, the leader of the pack, rallying his troops as now it's a service error for Edward Camposano. Fourteen serving ten. Mads Gampong. Getting the start over Buboy Calado in this game. It's De Pedro going cross. The ball goes to the side. Great effort by Brian Bagunas. It's a chance ball. Diane Dante. On to Sara. Who's rejected by Brian. Great. Virtually two points for Brian Bagunas. Sequence there. For Brian Bagunas, he really kicked the chair. Because he saw that the ball was still playable. He wanted to save that, and he wanted to give their team an opportunity para mahapag block. And they did get that defensive stop against Francis Saura. Now they're pumped up. That's going to be a nice matchup at the right pin with Saura versus Bagunas. Now there's another overreach for Signal HD. Too aggressive on that last hit. So setters really have to be fast kasi pag tikit yung pasa basta makauna ka dun sa bola matatawagan talaga ng violation yung nasa harapan mo That's the second overreaching violation already for Signal HD Nice block by Ilo Ilo Umandal from the other side It's just left and right for Signal HD and That will send us in a second technical off of the block versus Brian Bagunas. CNC Nang just goes to the other end with Chao Mandal scoring for the black shirts. Awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch down, get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. We're back inside the Rizal Memorial Coliseum for Signal HD versus the Navigators Ilo Ilo. That serve went straight to the net emphatically for Brian Bagunas. Such a strong jump serve from <laughs> Brian Bagunas, but... Uh, Pag bumaba yung contact point, di talaga lalampas yun sa ibabaw ng net. And now, uh, Jao Mandal has uh, six points under his name. Built on uh, five attacks and one block. He has a 71% efficiency here wow. in the opening frame. That's 20% above his conference average, which is the league's best. Now there's an error committed by the navigators. Let's see the replay. Touch, center fault, and uh, net violation. So now it's JP Bugawan serving for Signal HD 17 to 12 in set number one. Ball up by Adao. It's De Pedro going cross. 
Yes. Was it double contact? That will be a double contact called on Jao Mandal. Upon the release of the ball, the spin was already wild. So, yeah, we were expecting a call from the first referee. And he had to wipe his hands immediately on his jersey. Now we're back with Toto De Pedro, the usual beach volleyball player. Sending that ball in. It's Pagunas with the receipt. Gampong from the back. Tough chase for Nur Siddiq, and he's unable to save it. No, uh, Mark Calado, no problem because Coach Dexter Clamore has a lot of other options on the bench. That's why they beat up their lineup heading into the open conference of the Spikers turf. Well, Matt Kampong did start in their previous outing before the emergence of Mark Calado, especially in set number three. Back row for Brian Bagunas. Three-man block, no problem. You guys have a term for this man right here. It's two words, OA. I've been hearing it a lot. That's how you would describe that previous play for Brian Bagunas. We have a timeout for the Navigators. <laughs> Good effort, boy. Good effort. Well, you have to love the sense of communication being practiced by the navigators in Ilo. They let their coach, Boy Del Moro, do the talking, then afterwards, usually, more often than not, JV Sumagaysay and Francis Saro also take their time talking to their teammates. They are the veterans uh, in this uh, the Navigator squad. Nandiyan din si Edward Camposano. So right. everybody has to be vocal on the floor, especially in giving instructions. No coverage Sig though. Signal will get another kill block. Now uh, they're just uh, pulling away here in the first frame, being dominant as always. Coach Dexter Tomor absolutely loving that play. There's a celebration by Signal HD. 20 serving 13. Cian Sila, nice serve. Not an ace. Ball returned. Chance ball, a lot of time. Umandal, cross court kill. Dick was just able to uh, establish his own block against Jao Mandal. So, uh, Huge opening in the cross court angle. Coach Dick was definitely late for that one. It's now an eight point advantage, just like that for Signal. The Pedro receives the Andante to Saura. A wall in front of him. Campusano tipping it over. Nice return again. Now it's Umandal with the hang time. What a play for Jao. And the play. Jao Mandal getting a check ball off the hands of Kim Dayandante. He wanted the shoot set, but he had enough hang time to get that off the blocker of the Navigators. Signal HD continuing to roar in set number one. 22 serving 13. Bit of an over receive, battle at the net. It's won by the taller players of Signal HD. That will be considered a block point. So officially, that will be the fifth block point of the Signal HD Spikers. That has been uh, the main difference here in set number one. From serving to net defense, Signal has controlled those aspects of the game. That's why it's now a double-digit lead, the change of setters. That's Jema Polinario inside for the Navigators. They give it up to Camposano. Touch or not? Yes, Sumame and Sinoy the spot. He heard the, the check ball of the fingertips of uh, Lloyd was the spot. So that's a much needed side out for the Navigators Iloilo. Rash Nursidik. Serving that ball inside. Received by Jao Mandal. He attacks. Got a hand. Camposano off speed. Dug up by Silang. Bagunas approaching very well. What a setup onto the opposite spiker. Looked like he was going for a one two play off that back row. But last second, he decided to set that up to his former teammate in NU, Mads Kampong. Now scoring off the right pin. 
as the chemistry rekindled between those two former Bulldogs for Coach Dante Linsunurin. 24 serving 14, 10 set points for Jao Mandal and the rest of the Signal HD Spikers. Jao sends that ball through strongly at that, and it's an ace to end set number one. The performance by Signal HD, our defending champions. We did mention it started with their service. They controlled the receivers of the navigators, and that was a fitting end to set number one. A service ace from their top scorer in Jao Manda. Jopay, magandang mawala. So, dadalin kita sa aking na... Sumabay sa hangin, ako'y napatingin. Narda, napapansin kaya sa dami ng iyong ginagawa. Yun lang. Well, the songer himself, Jao Mandal, is off to a fantastic start in their second semifinals game versus the Navigator Siloilo. We did mention he might calm down in terms of his scoring because he had 36 versus them in the preliminaries. But Neil, after the first set, he's already in double figures. Yeah. Brian Bagunas only with three points, but uh, Jao Mandal overtaking all of the scorers in uh, this game by being the only player in double digits for the Navigator Siloilo. It has been uh, the efforts of Edward Camposano that has uh, kept their head afloat since set number one. But uh, yeah, you said it. Serving palang nahirapan na yung the navigators Iloilo, and they were forced to go to out of system plays. And pagdating sa out of system plays, we know how Signal organizes their three man block. And uh, they got four kill blocks officially in set number one. And uh, ang layo nung agwat yeah. pagdating sa attacking department, 16 to 7. So here in set number 2, ang importante for the navigators is to settle down, uh, get their ball control going because that was also the point from uh, their timeouts. Kailangan makapasa muna tayo because we have all the tools on the floor to get our own attacks. Pero hindi siya magmamaterialize if palaging broken play. Kasi ang hirap lagpasan nung triple block ng signal eh. And even if you get past the triple block of signal, there will always be defenders in the back row to dig these uh, balls up. But well, the good thing is for the Navigators Ilo, we did see their good body language during the break. They were calming each other down. They were warmed up. So uh, let's see if that would trickle over to set number two here inside the Rizal Memorial Coliseum. Neil mentioned Edward Camposano. He is the leading scorer with three for the Navigators. Francis Sara only has two so far in this game. And just so everybody knows, Pugawan, Bagunas, and Gampong also have three points each. It's been that lopsided as Francis Sara now is trying to get things going. Not a good start for the Navigators. Wala naman talaga problema sa atake. They just had uh, less opportunities to score off uh, smooth transition plays because of their passing in set number one. 
But hopefully, after that first set, uh, nawala na yung jitters, mm -hmm. nawala na yung intimidation factor because, in a way, teams uh, have that tendency to get intimidated by Brian Bagunas and uh, the immaculate record of Signal HD. But once they go back to their game plan, maalala nila kung ano yung ginawa nila sa training, lalabas din talaga yung laro nila. Oh, Francis Saro did tell me, matagal ko nang kasama yan, si Brian Bagunas. We were teammates, we were childhood friends, but this is a new version of him that uh, we have to get acquainted to. So that might be a part of the adjustments among others, not only Francis Saro. But now, it's an attack from the middle for Signal HD. It's Lloyd Osafat making his turn. Lloyd Osafat again uh, getting an, a point from a simple be quick play. One of the things that I noticed, Mix, is yung spacing na ginagawa ni CNC lang for Jao Mandal and uh, Brian Bagunas. Nilalayo talaga niya yung place. If Brian Bagunas is in the left side, sasagad niya ni CNC lang yung set for Jao Mandal sa back row sa right side naman. That's why masisplit talaga yung blockers na yung navigator si Luilo. It's gonna be a long afternoon for JV Sumagaysay and company. As now, we just got to see this point. Some retribution for Francis Saura off the left pin against a much smaller blocker in Mads Gampong. He has scored uh, two of the points here in set number two. Actually, yung two points in galing kay Francis Saura. One of the back row, one of the left wing. Mads Gampong gets his retribution off of the right pin. He might be small, but he definitely has that elevation. So Signal HD regains control. 3 to 2. Here's the former Red Warrior, Lloyd Asafat. Sending that ball in. It's Sumagay Sai from the middle. Deadlock again. JB Sumagay Sai will also be a threat in the middle. He was able to drag two blockers from a Signal HD. Here's JV Sumagaysay, three points to his name. Ball up by Vince Lorenzo. And there's JP Bogawan. It's FEU to FEU to FEU in that connection for Signal HD. Pansin natin mix, no? Every time may single block coverage for Signal or for the Navigators, na ko convert agad into a point. So it is obvious that both teams need to set up at least a double block against the middle blockers. That's a smarter hit by Francis Saro to try to counter the net defense of Brian Bagunas. He played it sharp. He has scored three of the four points of the Navigators here in this frame, and he's starting to heat up. That is good news for the Navigators. So that's more points in set two compared to his total in set number one. Only two points for him in the opener. That's a good serve as well. Lorenzo centering the ball. It's Umandal with an off-speed hit. Counter. Red play, Francis Saura with a point again. Francis Saura showing up big time here in the start of the second set. Getting past the block of uh, Brian Bagunas. I did ask him the andante before this game. Dahil ba matangkad at magaling bumlak si uh, Brian Bagunas medyo masaslow down ba si Francis Saura? Sabi ni Kim, no, I'm very confident about how Francis has grown as an opposite spiker and I'm sure he'll show his variety against Brian Bagunas. It's now Bagunas just scored from the left pin. In a way, may advantage din si Kim Dayantante and Francis Saura being the former teammates of Brian. They know his tendencies, they know his gameplay. It's about uh, reading his attacks well. Pagunas has four points, five all, service to the net. It's been a tendency for him in this game so far. That is the fourth team error for Signal HD pagdating sa service line. So now Toto De Pedro will take his turn. Silang back set to JP Bugawan for defense not present for Francis Saura. It was still a good check one though from the double block of the Navigators. But the hit was just too powerful. Piso Piso, ang talaan dito sa set number two. JP Bugawan will now serve for Signal HD. 
Six all. Ball up by De Pedro. He's been known for his receiving. Camposano down the line. Cannon of an attack from Edward Camposano. Clear skies for that down the line hit. It's great sportsmanship though. Between two former Bulldogs, Camposano had a low five with Mads Gampong. Let's see if he can continue to capitalize on having Silang as a blocker. Now it's a service ace for Iloilo, the Navigators, and they will lead us to our first technical timeout up by two. Let's see it once more. Rash Nursidik challenging the poor defense of Jao Umandal. Take a break. Coach Dex Clamor thought that they would actually lose that match. But no, very efficient daw sila sa skills nila. Sa second set daw, mas ginusto nila manalo. May mga bola na naangat pa daw na hindi na nagagawa ng ibang teams. So signal cannot be complacent. Floor defense would definitely be key against them. He wrote on his board, be more active than DNAV, which we actually saw in the first set. Now, as to Calado and Casania, they had a collision earlier during warm-up. Uh, Calado dislocated his nose. And EJ is not feeling well, uh, feeling dizzy to be specific. Specific. Nice. So both of them will obviously be sitting out this match. Very unfortunate for the semis. Migs, Neil? Yeah, that is really concerning for Signal HD. Bubuy Calado was supposed to start and now he's out. Possibly for the next game as well. At this location on the nose. At siyempre, may uh, protocol, may concussion protocol naman. Si EJ Kasanya ang hinaharap. And now we just got to see another point for the Navigators Iloilo. The Navigators Iliilo found their solution. The young heavy serves talaga nila will help them slow down the offense of the HD Spikers. They scored off an ace against Jao Mandal. They can find the yung mga small opening no para bumaba yung confidence ng signal on the receiving end. There you go. It wasn't the best of receives again, and a chance to counter. Unfortunately, they will give up a chance ball. Silang will push to the open. Wow, tough dig for Toto De Pedro. This is a good cushion though for the, the Navigators. A three-point lead against the HD Spikers. The other players after. have to follow suit when the thing's a service line. Let's see if it can be a part of the activity that Mika was talking about in her report. Uh, the navigators have been uh, taking advantage of in the previous game. Now it's Brian Bogunas reading the defense very well with a drop ball. Everybody was in the back row where that Brian Bagunas hit. That delicate touch did its job. Easy point for Brian Bagunas. I'm sure he's had to work on his variety, especially overseas. He did mention to me that he grew a lot in Japan. And in Taiwan, it was championship time for him, MVP time as well. As Edward Camposano answers back with some variety of his own. Power tips have worked for Edward Camposano. And uh, that is important as an outside hitter. You have to vary your attacks from time to time to uh, keep your opponents guessing. 11 to 8, short serve. Silang turning around with that set. Nice push back by Camposano. No violation. Kampong with much power. Recalculation for Kim. That's tight. The tip almost worked. Scramble forced. Bagunas! Where power meets passion. <laughs> there you go. It's the peak of Brian Bagunas. Full power on that hit. And broken play na nga kung but he was able to 
elevate <laughs> and just to detonate on that hit. Uh, back row po yun, eh. Back row po, para kay Brian Bagunas. Looked like a front row kill, yeah. but it was a back row kill. 11-9. <laughs> Ball up by Te Pedro. It's Sumagay Sai. Nice looking attack there. He couldn't score. Bagunas off speed again. Way to confuse the defense of the Navigators. Ryan Bagunas has been messing with the timing of the defenders of the Navigators in Iloilo. Everybody just backpedals. Yeah. Umaangat itong sabra, si Brian. But they also forget na pwede rin pala siyang mag-cut shot and uh, drop ball. Have we actually seen more drop shots? from uh, Brian in this game compared yeah. to power hits? Yeah, today compared uh, to their last game, last game was all about power. Ngayon talaga, he's trying to find the uh, open spaces on the floor. Another overreach. That's the third time that it has happened for Signal HD in this game. Well, Brian is contesting that the ball was already on their side of the court. Pero may aerial view yung first referee. Oh, yes. It happened in front of him. Yeah, confident din naman siya na tama yung call niya. I like how you describe that. Aerial view. The best view <laughs> for us. Oh, ho, ho. what a rejection by Sumagay Sai. One more. There you go. Back to back for the Navigators in the Ryan wanted to force his way through the double block of the Navigators. But that's a tall double block. You have JV Sumagaysa, you have uh, Francis Saura, both also national team member caliber type of talents. Hinga muna, hinga muna, hinga muna, hinga muna. Oh, be calm, be calm. Part of the game. Talagang may mga pagkakataong ganyan na hindi maayos yung judgment ng referee. Oh, part of the game. Watch na kagad. Tatuyin na bang nila. Okay? Oh, pasahan lang ulit. Siyad, siyad. Takas mo ng konti. Kasi pag mababa, mababa yung kontak na kaya. Mababa. Every time na papalo si Brian, mag-cover kasi, mag-cover. Oh, right? Cover din, cover. Medyo malaki doon. Pasa muna tayo. May bakro ka dito. Adjust ka agad. Go, go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Say, 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 say. Let's go, Simpson! That's a good reminder. Every time na papalo si Brian, kailangan may coverage pa rin. As much as we're all in all when he's mid-air. Even the best players in the world get blocked. So, the coverage needs to be there for Brian Bagunas. Lead is three, Edward Camposano, a three-time MVP back in his high school days with a short serve. Silang to the open, Bagunas. That went through. We want to see the replay on this one. How high did he get? This is where uh, decoys come into play. JV Sumagaysay already jumped for the Yosafat hit. Pero pumunta kay Brian Bagunas, si CNC lang. Oh, now it's a block for Brian Bagunas against his former teammate, Francis Saura. Babalikan lang ito si Francis Saura and Brian Bagunas. Now we have a timeout for the Navigator Silo Ilo. That's a good way to get some retribution off of a timeout. Quite simple. If your opposite spiker is being denied, you do have your open spiker at the left pin. And after all, Signal has a smaller blocker on the other side. I'm taking a look at Brian Bagunas and JP Bugawa. Mas matangkat si Brian. So Brian is the tallest player of Signal. As now, it's a service ace for Lloyd Osafat. General rule din naman, when you're setting up your own offense, you always look for the shortest blocker in terms of height. And in this rotation for Signal, lang shortest nila is Mads Gampong. That's yes. why in the timeout, pinapoint out nga ni Francis Saura na sumasabay, nakas sumasabay na sa kanila yung blocker. So pwede ang iba to sa left wing. 
Thought like De Pedro one. has been quiet in this ball game. Not a lot of numbers coming uh, from him. Francis Saura pushing that ball through. A good chance for Signal. Silang to JP Bugawan. And no save for the Davido D Navigators. Signal HD able to build some momentum here and they get the lead back. We're down by three points, but now they're up by one. And the Navigators need a break point to cut the momentum of Signal. It's been a much tighter set number two. Osafat continuing to serve. Will they get that side out? There you go. JV Sumagaysay answering to the call of Neil Flores. Sumagaysay finding the right angle on that quick attack. JP Bugawan was already there, but look at how JV twisted his body to get that cross court. Sumagaysay is the third leading scorer in this conference for the Navigators behind Saura and Camposano. Good dig by JV. Saura got a hand, whistle blown. Violation, Signal HD. What oh, do we have a challenge? This would be our first challenge in this match. And Brian Bagunas was the one who asked for it. Brian was explaining to Coach Texter na salabas ng antenna yung tape ng net na nahawakan niya. So that is not part of the actual area na playable. Okay. Interesting. And that's good that you cleared that out to our viewers as well. And it could be deceiving for our referees kasi even though they have that aerial view, ano eh, diretso yung tingin nila sa net eh. So this is our first challenge for the match with a lot of sense of urgency for Signal HD versus Iloilo. The Navigators, this is our second day of the semifinals. On Sunday, it will be Iloilo D Navigators versus PGJC Navy to see Lions. And then, of course, it's Criss Cross versus Signal HD to end the semis picture. Finals na po this coming Wednesday, next week. That touch or not. And where did he hit the net? Jersey, ba? That was the jersey and the... I think his hand also hit the net. And that was in the legal part of yeah. the net. You can see the touch. Okay. 15, 14. Challenge unsuccessful. 15-14 now. Bagunas agrees to it. He's ready to move on. Can Iloilo, the navigator, send us to our second technical timeout with JV Sumagaysay at the service line. Four points to his name. Service in. Mandal puts it up. It's JP Bugawan with a hammer. Full swing from uh, JP Bogawan on that hit. Just avoiding rash to Fifteen all. Kampong sending it in. There you go. That's an ace. And it's Signal HD who will lead us to the second technical timeout. Signal 15. 14 navigators.
Arena Plus, Astigs Sports. We are back inside the Rizal Memorial Coliseum for Signal HD versus Iloilo D Navigators. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Neil Flores and Mika Abisamis. Toto de Pedro going cross court. That's a good retribution for the white shirts. They celebrated accordingly after that. That will help the confidence of Toto de Pedro. But he can actually shift his focus from attacking to receiving because uh, right now, yung mainit naman is si Edward Camposano, Francis Saura, and JV Sumagaysay. Mm -hmm. So as long as he helps the libero in uh, getting that zone para sa pasa, malaking tulong na yun for the offense of the navigators. Right now, it's Mark Anthony Chumbinko who, will, who he will be helping out. The battle for Iloilo as Brian Baguna scores Baguna. once again. So he only scored three in the opening set, but now for sure he has surpassed it with flying colors. Aside from uh, power, the speed din talaga yung mahirap to control when you're going up against Brian Baguna. All of the defenders were ready. Three man block was there. Umatras na din for the check ball. Yung uh, diggers. Brian played it short on his serve. Nur Siddiq checked by Bugawan. It's Adao who will send it to De Pedro. Nice sharp hit. Toto De Pedro. Toto De Pedro getting another attack point by avoiding the block of JP Bugawan. He's finding the right angles. <laughs> Did tell me, Neil, before this game that attacking has been his biggest challenge in the Spikers' turf. Mas nanay siyang dumipensa kumpara sa kanyang mga atake at this level. But uh, it's nice to have a good number of veterans on his team helping, out, helping him out with their system. And speaking of veterans, it's Jao Mandal. It's resurrecting here in set number two. It's been a while. Yeah, you know, itong uh, the navigators Iloilo, they uh, have been successful in uh, setting up their own uh, net defense. And uh, they've been forcing Jao Mandal to go to these drop balls, pero hindi nagiging prepared yung defenders sa likod. So that is also one of the adjustments that they have to make. Ooh, nice block. Three men in front of Edward Camposano. Total shutdown from a signal against Edward Camposano. That block will be credited to Lloyd Josafat. Saradong sarado para kay Wawa. Balik tayo ngayon sa Signal HD, 19-17. JP Bugawan doing the honors. We have Silang, Umandal, and Josafat in the front row. But then again, their back row options cannot be disregarded. Ooh, double contact for Kim Dayan Dante. Ganda sana. That reverse set was fast. It pulled the blockers of Signal HD. And he absolutely knew it from the get-go. He even saw the spin of the ball. It's now a three-point advantage for Signal HD. This is already a big separation in set two. Ball up by De Pedro. That goes through. Silang couldn't score. Net touch or not. We shall continue. Mandal down the line target. Kaposada puts it up. Sara after getting back up. Setting it through. Pagunas cross court kill. How do you stop that? <laughs> Let's see the defense. Single there block. Not enough. For sure. <laughs> Apolinario trying to calm his teammates down. He is the captain, after all, of the Navigators Iloilo in this conference. They're facing a four-point deficit in set number two. JP Bugawan. Short serve. Almost an ace. There's a return, but goes outside for Francis Sala. Signal will always uh, turn to their serving and uh, blocking in tight situations. Again, they were down by three points a while ago. Suddenly, they're in the driver's seat with a five-point lead. Timeout, Coach Boyet. Ano 
Silang, sige lang, pwede pa yan. Kapitan niya, kapitan niya lang. Okay, sige, sige. Pwede pa yan. Kapitan niya lang. One pass, na-skill tayo, okay? Tara, tara. Prepare natin ito para sa next, ha? Sige, sige. It's never too late to build some momentum if you're the navigator si Luilo. Of course, you still would want to win this set. It has happened before, miraculous comebacks in Philippine volleyball. But momentum would be a big thing for them come set number three. Ang maganda din here in set number two is that uh, na-minimize ng navigator since signal yung errors nila. Mm -hmm. The navigator only has one unforced error, signal has three. That's why dikit yung score natin and mas magaganda rin yung mga rallies na nakikita natin. Camposano definitely got a hand. That's a point for him. A badly needed side out for the navigator Siloilo. That's the good thing about Edward Camposano. Even if he gets blocked a couple of times, he will continuously try to break the block of their opponent. And that's also a guy who's trying to get back into his peak form after injuring his ACL years ago. Time and time again, you know, it, it haunts him. But it gets back to him physically as Kosafat just scored for Signal HD. A while ago, we saw a lot of big quick plays from Lloyd Josapat. This time, CNC Lang decided to change things up. That was a short slide, a very fast short slide. Silang has 10 excellent sets already in this game. Apolinario Camposano, sharp cross court with much power. Also, one of the heaviest hands for the navigators. Look at how. He kills that ball. I'm just happy he has found a home with the Navigators Iloilo after transferring from Army to Navy to this team. Kampong is blocked. Coverage present. That's Vince Lorenzo. Mads again. Quite low. No touch by Edward. It was actually a block point for Edward Camposano, but the ball did hit the Signal HD spiker after his touch. There you go. You have a timeout. Sometimes open sa cross, cross mo naman. Strength mo na yung line, so alam nila mag-align ka. Pwede ka mag-cross, pwede ka mag-drop. Advantage. Go lang, go, go, go lang. Kumata naman dito, pwede ka mag-pop. Last two, last two. Pasaan lang muna. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Let's go! There's the emergency button for Coach Dexter Clamor. Last two lang naman, no? Ang sitwasyon para sa kanila. But of course, the navigators can still pull off a comeback. And it's a full front row for J.M. Apolinario. J.M. Apolinario. Let's see if he can maximize Camposano, Saura, and Sumagaysay. Service in, received by Jao. Pagunas on the back. Pagunas on the back. Francis, uh, Saura is asking for a challenge. Football challenge against Brian Pagunas. This has been a pretty common challenge in this conference. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it's usually the the top spikers, Sina Espejo, Sina Omandal, and Sina Brian Bagunas, who we usually regard as uh, you know the best of the best in terms of hitters, including that back row pipe hit. Sometimes hindi rin nila namamalayan. No, Dahil tao lang din naman sila. sila. <laughs> Sometimes uh, mukhang may super human na skills itong mga to. <laughs> Kaso malinis yun. Yeah, that malinis will be malinis. successful for the navigators and they will do the challenge opportunity. There's a smile from Coach Boy Del Moro. We are seeing four set points now for Signal HD. Brian Bagunas just blossoming here in the second set after the first set. First set dominance by this guy, Jao Mandal, who now just gave us a service error. Signal will have uh, three chances. 
to close this out. I was talking to Ruben Sabrot uh, before this game started. I mean, uh, Wendell Miguel, he told me that they really need to win in three or four sets. Because it's important to points that they want to win. Oh, 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 Set number two truly belong to that guy, Mr. Brian Bagunas. I'll give you the tally later on. It's 25-14, 25-21 so far. One four, panis. Everything may lie. She can shoot grass. Di ko alam yung title pero alam mo yung kanta. You belong with me. Tama ako. Big shout out to JM Apolinario, the semi Swifty that we have at the sideline. Right now, his team is down. Two sets to love, so they're going to need to now push towards a victory with a reverse sweep if they can. We're going to see the numbers in set number two. It was a good start by the Navigators Ilo Ilo, but Signal HD just completely turned things around since the halfway point of that set. And we did mention Brian Bagunas poured in the points. He's now the leading scorer of Signal ahead of Jao Omandal, but they both combined for 25 points. That's a set coming from those two already. Numbers are similar compared to that first set. Yeah, Signal still had the edge in attacking. They got five more points in that department. But uh, the, the Navigators did better in terms of net defense. They were able to match the output of the HD spikers. Again, both teams just minimized their unforced errors. So, nang ibabaw lang talaga yung firepower ng Signal HD. And they are on track dun sa goal nila to win this in three sets. They have a chance here in the third frame. But for the Navigators Iloilo, they already showed us that that kaya nilang makakuha ng lamang against Signal. Mm -hmm. That was a three-point lead. I said a while ago, it was a, already a good cushion as long as matuloy-tuloy nila yung performance nila. But uh, Signal made their move. Again, blocking was there, serving was there, and uh, the, the Navigators in Ilo will just have to do the same thing. Try to get the shank pass from the receivers of Signal. Papagalin nila yung attack ni Brian Bagunas by getting good block touches. Now uh, they will have a change in the setter's position. Kim Dayandante will sit this one out. Apolinario will be the playmaker. So um, that's an interesting change because mm -hmm. uh, in terms of height, they will be at a disadvantage pag umikot sa harap si Apolinario. He will be the main target of the HD Spikers. But uh, in terms of playmaking, hindi mo naman matatawaran din yung uh, skill ni Apolinario. Now he was the starting setter at the start of this conference for the Navigators Iloilo. Let's set. see if we can connect with JV Sumagay Sai, Francis Saura, Edward Camposano, and Toto De Pedro. 
Apolinario with the first serve in set number three. Thank you for joining us. This is Mix Gomez with Neil Flores and Mika Abisamis. The first point belongs to Lloyd Osafat. First set of uh, first point. Parang laging napupunta kay Lloyd Osafat. Yan yung napapansin ko kay CNC lang. Oh, is it his way of opening things up for Mads Gampong, Jao Mandal, and Brian Bagunas? Unfortunately for them, it's a service error straight to the net. So we have an early deadlock. Camposano sending it in. Osafat denied by Sumagay side. Bagunas playing setter. That's tight. Straight to the antenna. And Bagunas cannot believe it. Yep, uh, it was a tight set. I wonder what went through his mind after that error happened. Ball up by Vince Lorenzo. Chris Silang. Mats Gambong cross court target. That's a point for Iloilo, the Navigators. Another hot start for the Navigators. But no lead has been safe for them. Yeah. You did mention they had the advantage of three points midway through the second set. But they gave it up. Now can't have errors like this. A service error from Edward Camposano. That's going to be uh, the second service error for the Navigator. Signal has six. We're back with Jao Omandal. 12 points and an ace to his name. He's the second leading scorer of Signal HD. Ball up by Rick Adao. So Magaisai pushing the ball through. He wasn't too happy with the set, but it still worked for them. JV Sumagaisai just displaying restraint. Kasi if pinalo niya ng malakas yun sa harapan ni Lloyd Josapat, malaki yung chance na pumalik yung bola. They will take this two-point advantage. Sumagaisai is at the back row. Let's see if his floor defense will be challenged by Signal. Sila, back row hit for Omandal. There you go. And his side tried to get to it to no avail. Have the numbers. Or the percentage of the things that efficiency ng attack ng the navigators and signal. The navigators is hitting at a 39% efficiency. Signal is a, at 60%. Wow. That's really high. Especially as a team. Makes it even more impressive. Bagunas trying to play it sharp to no avail. Pipe. That's Edward Campusano. No, sir. Back row on the other end. Not the strongest of hits, but it works for Jao Mandal. Saura was uh, there for the dig. He wasn't able to control the trajectory of that ball. Edward Campusano tried to save it. For all, just like that. Lloyd Safat, service in. That was very sharp. Looks like they are targeting the zone of Francis Saura to get him out of timing or out of system. I now trying to help out, but it didn't work for him, even though he's the third best receiver in our league. Saura got a hand. Bagunas in front of him. It's Toto de Pedro. Nice. Down the line hit. Net touch. Yeah, there was there a was. net touch as well. Also a violation called on signal. Five ball. Bagunas giving a thumbs up to his teammate. Francis Saura. Seven points for the birthday boy. Ball up and through. Lorenzo with the receive. Miscalculation for Signal on the other end. It's Saura against three blockers. Ball up by CNC Sila. They push to the left. Brian Bagunas. That was rejected. Brian again. Sharp in or out. It was outside. Good read from Chumbingo letting that hit go. Well, Chumbiko is the ultimate veteran in terms of age for the Navigators Iloilo. The second oldest is JV Sumagaysay. JV is not even 30 years old. That's how young their team is.
Francis Saura. Ball up by Vince Lorenzo. Not the best of receives. Bagunas still making it look good. Scramble forced. Chance ball. Signal HD. Silang to Brian. Oh, that was JP Bugawan. And he was rejected by his matchup for today in Rash Nursidik. Nursidik uh, saw the intention of CN Silang kanina bago pa isend ni CN Silang yun sumilip na siya sa blockers ng uh, Iloilo. And they thought that it was going to Brian Bagunas, but Rash Nursidik just getting a kill block against JP Bugawan. The Navigators back with a two-point advantage, but it's another service error. It's been costly for them so far in this set. Six to seven, Mads Gampol. Ball up by De Pedro. It's Rashner Sidik. Unable to get the point. That's just outside, no touch. We're tied at seven. And uh, kanina pa pinapoint out ni Coach Dexter Casey and Silang. Malit yung blocker mo dito sa side ni Brian. So let's play it simple. Just set that ball high for Bagunas. Oh, regalo. That's too easy for JP Bugawan against the net defense of JM Apolinario. Signal continuing to lead in this game. It's a one point advantage off of that easy hit for JP Bugawan. I had an interesting conversation with Brian Bagunas. I asked him what he thinks could set him apart from the others that have gone through international stints as well. And he said, well, very observant kasi ako na tao. I really take into account everything I learn from different countries. For instance, Japan has a lot of MVPs and Olympians. He really watches. Minsan nga daw, right after a certain match that he watched, he would go to the gym and really try and mirror those moves. Sa araw mismo na yon, ganun daw siya ka -OC. But Shepard, he also recognizes how the other veterans in the league have also flourished in their careers. He's actually very close uh, to his former teammates, like you mentioned earlier, Camposano, Saura, and Dayan Dante. He would bring them to his hometown in Balayan, Batangas, to go to the beach. Napanood daw niya yung match against Chris Cross, and so he told his teammates to watch out. They could still take any set away from them. Migs and Neil? First of all, it's good to hear that they're still bonded like that, the former NU Bulldogs that we have in this game, as Camposano just sent that ball outside. But we also have to highlight the fact that Brian Bagunas is such a humble player. For him to continue learning at a big stage, you know, it doesn't get to his head. That's the best way for you to achieve greatness at higher levels. There's a challenge for the Navigators Iloilo. We haven't seen as many challengers in this game. One point would be in the world right now for them in set number three. Block, touch or not, Malayo. That will be an unsuccessful challenge for the Navigators. Lead will swing back to the HD Spikers. Ten serving seven. It's been a five-point swing in set three in favor of Signal HD. Toto De Pedro. Nice hit. He's had his moments. Wasn't the strongest of hits, but the target was right. Uh, the kill off the 
dig of Brian Bagunas. That's something that he's used to doing in beach volleyball. Brian Bagunas, he's used to doing that wherever he may be. Brian Bagunas with a quick attack this time. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Differential type of uh, quick attack. What a game for Brian again. He's trying to follow up on his 21 point performance. Ooh. Tough receive for Toto De Pedro. Francis Saura way under. Signal HD with oh, absolute momentum. They're starting to pile up for the navigators in the ELO as they call for time. <laughs> will also be tested here for the navigators in Ilo. With your backs against the wall and you have a titan of a team in front of you, what can you do in front of Myla Pablo as well, who's talking to Sir Ricky Palu as of this moment? <laughs> Myla's busy as well in the semis, yeah. right? With Petrogas? She's with the uh, Petrogas Angels. They will be going up against the Choco Mucho Flying Titans this Sunday. That will be... The last day of the round robin semifinals in the PPL. But there is a chance to make a playoff depending on the results of that day. So, so PPL may playoff dito wala. Yeah, ganun ang system. That's the difference between our tournament format dito sa Spikers Derby. We will be following the official FIVB ruling pagdating sa tiebreaker. But uh, in the PPL, we will be having that playoff in case of a tie. Well, I'm sure our fans, including us, will entertain that if it would happen. Same thing happened in the UAAP men's division between NU and uh, it's NU, right? And FEU, as you just got to see, Jao Banda scoring the left. As expected, uh, they will really target the block of Apolinario. Sorry, let me check that. It's FEU's number one, NU versus La Salle. For the playoff, for, for the, the playoff. place to beat advantage. That will happen this weekend. On Sunday as well. Di ka Oh, you're covering <laughs> that ng, game. Nang volleyball. <laughs> what a busy weekend for us now. It's a block for Signal HD. They're just feeding it now at set number three. All of the sets, uh, they just went to their blocking to get that separation get that lead against the, the navigators ngayon babalik na sila yan dati they need more height up uh, in front because this is already a 6 point lead for the HD spikers let's see if Kim can work his magic service inside for JP Bugawan Dayan Dante to the open and that's a point off the block for Edward Camposano off the block Ten serving 15. It's been a busy day for Cian Silang. Siga did mention DJ Casanya hit his head with the nose of uh, Buboy Calado before this game. That's why they're both unable to play. They might be absent in the next game as well as Jao Mandal scored again. It's back to a six point advantage. Mandal is getting back to his set one form. Have the second technical timeout.
serving CNT. The postseason of the association is finally here as JV Sumagaysay scores for the Navigators Ido Ido. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, and Pilipinas Live. Hashtag Everything Counts. Hashtag NBA on Signal. Might I say? Orange and blue skies. Congratulations to the New York Knicks fans out there after getting a big victory against Philly earlier today. Francis Saura, cross court, touch or not? First referee says no. Ball is out. Clearance was high for Francis Saura. They will be saving their last challenge opportunity. At 17 11. Signals are creating this separation as they try to get three clean points out of today's match. Jao Mandal, 16 to his name. After only scoring two in set number two. Not the best of receives. There's a push onto the open. Chance ball. It's Hosafat. Will give us a kill from the middle. Pitch next though, unhappy with a no call on the double touch. They still convert off that quick attack from Lloyd Hosafat. It's all good for the HD Spikers as they approach the 20 point mark. 18-11, back with Zhao. Zhao is hitting at a 64% efficiency, while Brian is hitting at a 57% <laughs> efficiency. So when you have two outside hitters, <laughs> nagganun yung porcento, good things will definitely happen. Umandal, I did mention, is number one in efficiency, all conference long at a 52% clip. So those two percentages that you just mentioned are both higher than that. As Lloyd Osapat continues to pour in the points for Signal HD. Would you actually say that he has been performing at such a high level? Because if you think about it, they do have a deep rotation for the middle blocker position. Yeah, in his uh, first few conferences with the HD Spikers, nanggagaling siya off the bench. But now he has... Uh, taken up that role as the starting middle blocker for Coach Dexter. And every game naman, nabibigin yung puntos na kailangan ni Coach Dexter. But uh, on the other side, we have uh, Toto de Pedro still putting up a fight against the blockers of the HD Spikers. By the way, speaking of blockers, Justin Santos is in for the first time in the semifinals. He was a project in the preliminaries, as mentioned by Ayana Berlas. JB Sumagaysay sat out in one game so that Justin can build his confidence so they can use him here. That's Bogawan scoring from the middle. Got a touch on Chumbinko. This is one of the games na nakita natin na balance rin talaga yung distribution ni CNC lang. Lloyd Zapat is already in double digits with 10 points. I'm sure JP Bogawan is almost in that same uh, line of scoring. It's a push by Diane Dante. There's a touch. Came taking matters onto his own hands. There you go. It all happened so fast against Brian Bagunas. 14 20. Oh, that's Omandal. Rejected by Camposano. Not today, says Edward Camposano. Hawak na hawak yung bola of that block. Now the, the navigators are making their move. Ball up, CNC lang to JP Bugawan. That was exit in set number 21. Single block coverage from the navigator Siluilo. My oh my, what a performance. They have a timeout. Up 
Brace yourselves as athletes and sports lovers have no holds barred conversations with Papa Colon himself, Sean Ildefonso. Watch Sean Time exclusive on the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now. Right now we have Signal HD versus the Navigators Ilo Ilo. 21 15 in set three. That's a service error for Brian Bagunas. It seemed like um, if you would pick out uh, an Achilles heel in his game today, would you say that it's his services? Yung power kasi mahirap He control. But yeah, he has uh, his a fair share of errors pagdating sa service line. But you know, yung attack points naman niya, now overshadow na nun yung minor errors on the service line. And when his services go in, it's chaos for uh, Iloilo the Navigators as Jao Mandal scores again. Not much power, no problem. 22, serving 16. Signal is three points away from getting into six points now for our semifinals picture. Bugawan is in double figures, 11 points. Service in, Dayan Dante to the open. Camposano couldn't score. Recalculation was a fat, nice approach. That time it was a double block, but Lloyd was a fat, just uh, found his way through the block of JB Sumagaysay and Edward Camposano. He's so comfortable with the setting of CNC Lang. And si CNC lang din yung isa sa mga bagong pasok sa Signal HD in the off-season. It has been EJ Casanya manning that setter's position. Ball is still alive. Great effort by Mads Gampong. Chance ball, Iloilo. There's a push, bit of a scramble. Silang to score. Nope. He has to get up. It's Francis Saura. That's dug up by Brian Bagunas. Jao Mandal, quite low. Attack error. Langanin, <laughs> yung angle with that much power, you really need a high contact point to get that in. The navigator still at it, down by six, 17-23. Kim and Dante with the full front line. Back row, Brian, tip, yes. Navigating focus today of these off speed shots, of these delicate. Uh, drop balls. It's not all power for Brian Bagunas today. Tapas pa din yung efficiency niya kahit na maraming soft touches from his end. Now they get to match point with a seven point lead. Misreceived. Saura will send it through. Ball up by Sandy Montero, the ultimate veteran of Signal. That was sent to the other side. The Antate back sets. Camposano dug up by Sandy. Silang saving the ball, a push. Chance ball. Saura, blocked, coverage present. Iloilo, still able to get it through, and that was outside, so that's it. Signal HD getting the win in three sets. After that mishap in the warm-up from uh, Mark Calado and uh, EJ Casanya, Signal will now get a Winning streak here in the semifinals. That's back-to-back -back wins. Mm -hmm. They will get three points from this match. So a total of six points. Six points. And Navigators will not get any from this game. So they're going to be uh, praying big on Sunday. As much as they would want to get a win versus PGJC Navy as well. We'll take a short break. When we return, we'll have the numbers for you guys.
back at the Rizal Memorial Coliseum for your Spikers Turf 2024. And right now, I'm with the best player of this match, na si Sian Silang. Congratulations, Sian. Uh, naging, naging very effective ka dito sa match na to, lalo na nga at wala si EJ. Pero talagang binigyan din kayo ng D-Navigators ng magandang laban. Anong masasabi mo doon? Um, so no, training pa lang kasi um, ako na yung ginagamit ng first game. No? Kasi maging, naging maganda yung pinakita namin noong first game namin against um, Navy. So, ayun, parang yung focus ko talaga na kahit wala, na, na may nangyari ano, kay EJ din naman ninaasahan is um, andun talaga yung focus ko na gagawin ko yung best ko, yung tiwala ng coach ay binigay sa akin. Then, ayun, yun nabi, uh, alam naman natin, last Wednesday, tinalo nila yung Chris Cross, so pinagandahan talaga namin sila. Napakaganda. First stint mo to sa finals with Signal, ano? Kumusta yung relationship mo with your teammates, lalo na sa'yo nag-uumpisa lahat as a setter? Um, para sa akin kasi hindi, hindi na ako naging, hindi na mahirap mag-adjust kasi yung iba naman nakasama ko, AMC, FEU. So parang madali na, par hindi naman madali, parang um, yung pagiging teammate, yung band namin, kasi hindi lang naman sa loob ng korte. Eh. Mer meron din kami banding sa labas, kaya ayun, parang hindi na ako may nahirapan na ako. Then, um, binabati ko yung family ko, yung nanonood. Si Chelsea, asawa ko yung baby ko, si Tatiana. Um, family ko sa bataan, mga kaibigan, and yung supporters ng, ng Signal HD Spikers. Uh, maraming salamat po. Alright, congratulations, CN, of course, to the Signal HD Spikers. Balik sa inyo, Mix Neil. Thank you, Mika. Well, FEU with Vince Lorenzo and JP Bugawan. He also had a stint with Jao Mandal in AMC, Cotabato. With Mads Kampong, he played with him in the PNVF when they represented Dasmarinas. So he had to adjust with Brian Bagunas. At ang sabi niya sa atin, iangat mo lang naman yung ball eh. Pagkakampi mo si Brian Bagunas. <laughs> Yan so, yung pinakamadaling trabaho. <laughs> yun. Easy and easy lang is to have a player like Brian Bagunas in their team. And yes, he did step up big time today against uh, their opponents. And you know what? Uh, ang hirap ng position ng setter because you have to dish out the preferred sets of each and every spiker and he did that so well balanced scoring on the floor for the HD spikers and for the navigators they just really had the time ha had a hard time matching the output of signal HD in that department again signal had that edge this time they doubled up on uh, that department and uh, yeah they're in prime possession in the semifinals to